You know, ask and you shall receive. I was just talking about how I haven't seen Miami strike when I was recording with the AUG. Literally next game it pops up. So ask and you shall receive. I haven't done Nuketown, even though I've had opportunities to. Just uh, not something I'm really trying to play, to be honest. I don't look at Nuketown as one of those fun maps like I used to. I know people are going to call me crazy for that, but just not my cup of tea anymore. I'm not into those small maps, just like how in Modern Warfare 3, I'm not into like DOS House and Shipment. Again, people may think I'm crazy for feeling that way, but it's just my preference. I think smaller maps are kind of boring. I mean, Miami Strike isn't exactly big, of course, but... It's at least got a little bit of thought process behind it. Do you guys remember when Miami was like a normal map in the game? Before they changed it to only, what was it, 12v12 or 10v10? What was it in this game? This was definitely the better iteration of Miami. Let's keep that up front in the way it is. I didn't hate Miami. I remember when I used to play ranked play, I loved Miami for S and D, but outside of S and D, I don't think you would have ever caught me playing Miami on just about anything else. Hardpoint was horrendous. Domination was horrendous. It was one of those maps that was like a Piccadilly. You know what I mean? Just straight up campy. Oh, I heard him last second. He was chasing me. Milano. Okay. I mean, I got 18 of the 24. Now we got our harp. Bring that ass here, boy. Get over here. Thanks for coming, Ginger. Hold on, buddy. I can't hear you with my head sound. You gotta give me a minute, okay? All right, so I'm at, I think that's 30. I'm at 31. So I'm on my good pace right now. I'm trying to I'm trying to do my job, buddy. Enemy RCXD detected. Hold on, buddy. I'm trying to do my job, man. Oh my goodness. I hear a guy behind me as well. I'm at 44. All 
right. Got my heart blocked in. I have a possibility here. Got her. 52. I'm on 18. Oh my goodness. That was a spree. I'm at 62, man. That I kind of choked there because I was in their spawn. I probably could have had more. <gasps> Chokes again. Give me uh, 30 seconds, buddy. 30 seconds. My game is almost done here. To be right here. 64 and nine. So you guys just got to meet my nephew, Michael. I'm also Michael, so it was Michael times two. Um, so I apologize. I wasn't talking much. I had to watch my mouth. You know what I mean? Sometimes I get in the zone when I'm playing and uh I don't know what I'm saying. So I try I was kind of quiet during that gameplay, but I was popping off. You guys can admit that. Let's get through these attachments. First attachment is going to be the agency suppressor to keep me off of the mini map and give me some recoil control. As always, if you want some more recoil control, the infantry compensator is also a good option for the barrel. I was going with the 23.2 inch extended. That's going to increase your bullet velocity by 30% with zero cons. We have a decent damage range at 35 meters. So by increasing that bullet velocity, it's even more well-rounded. This isn't a weapon I use at long range. So this is the perfect statistics for medium and close range fights for our magazine. I was going with a 50 round mag increasing our ammo capacity at sacrifice of only reload quickness. Really no trade-offs there. In my opinion for the handle, the airborne pistol grip, Aim down sight speed, flinch resistance, and ability to drop shot. And then our stock is going to be the Raider to increase the sprint to fire speed along with aim walking speed. So here's going to be all your attachments on the screen. Make sure you guys hit the like and subscribe button if you have not already. I'll see you guys in the next one.